In the past, we've talked about having milkweed in your garden. Milkweed is a great addition because it adds diversity. So you add that with flowers, you have patches of this milkweed, you're creating a great environment for many insects, including monarchs. Some of these insects may actually be beneficial. So we talked a little bit about, you know, leaving them in the garden if they just happen to sprout up. You can thin them as you need to, or you can just let them go and they will spread on their own. But if you want to propagate, there's some things you could start doing now. First thing is to identify where do you have milkweed? What's the species that you want to try to grow? Now remember, you don't really want to try to plant showy milkweed in a place like we are out east because it's just not the right conditions. So you want to go with plants, the species that are local, grow well in the region. So you want to collect seeds. That will be your first step. You got to wait for the seeds to really get brown and harden within the pod. If the pod is green like this one is, really the seeds aren't ready. So you want to leave it on the plant for quite a while. When it's ready, you're going to give it a squeeze. If it pops open easily, then it's ready. Then you're going to collect the pods that you want from the particular species, move them off to an area where they can be dried. Now sometimes when you go to pick these uh, pods, you may find these little bugs. We've got to put entomology into this somehow, but there's little red bugs walking along on these pods, and they're actually feeding on the seeds. They're not going to hurt anything. They're not going to diminish the yield. They're just nice little seed bugs that like milkweed seeds. So you've collected the seeds. You've opened them up. You end up with a bunch of fluff. But there's all kinds of seeds in here. You want to try to separate the seeds from the fluff. Sometimes you can just put it in a bag and just shake the bejeebers out of it and that will loosen it up. Sometimes you have to go and hand pick it. But take the seeds and then in the winter time you need to cold stratify them. So put them in between some paper towels, moist paper towels, put them in the refrigerator for 30 days and then you're ready to start planting. If you want to do it inside, put them in jiffy pots, a little bit of soil. Water the soil first and then place your seeds, usually two per pot, and wait for them to germinate. If you want to plant them outside, take them outside, plant them anytime after the, the frost. You could transplant the, the seedlings that you have, or you can put seeds directly in the ground. Just make sure they stay moist and try to plant clumps of milkweed, lone milkweeds around. The monarchs will run out of food pretty quickly if you're trying to feed the monarchs. So they may look nice as single plants, but try to get a little clump going and make sure you plant plenty of flowers for the other insects to feed on.